What's up guys, Hoodlum2002 here with another review video. Uh, today we do not have a die cast, but I thought this would be something really cool to review. This is a um, Lego Creator Ford Mustang that I recently uh, finished building. I really like these old Ford Mustangs, so when I saw this I was, I kind of, I went ahead and bought it just because, for one, I kind of wanted to build one of these giant Lego sets. I had never built one of these before. So I went ahead and built it. Before we get into reviewing the car, I don't have the box, but here you have the instruction manual. It's part of the um, Lego Creator set. Got a nice little picture of the car right there. As always with a Lego set, you do have some little stickers. These are some uh, license plates that you can swap out on the car. I'm pretty sure there's some spare pieces that I have over in the little pile that I can put these um, stickers on. And you have some little accessories that come with the car. So first you have this like little duck tail lip spoiler. And I'll, I'll have all these, uh, I'll attach all these on the car once I'm done reviewing the main car. You got a little blower uh, like supercharger right here that uh, pops out the hood. I really love this. I really like muscle cars with these. Here we have like a little front bumper extension add-on. And then you have some like side exit exhaust that kind of that attach back here behind the uh, front tires. Once again, we'll attach those all to the car later on in the video. But right now, let's just take a little a look at this car. So on the front here, I have the uh, 1967 GT Mustang. That's obviously telling you it, it's obviously a 1967 Mustang GT. Got a little Mustang badge right there. I will say Lego really gets these things really spot on. Like these look really cool. See down the side, the hood, you got some white racing stripes. You got the normal like GT uh, racing stripes down there below the doors. Got a little GT logo right there. You got these awesome five-spoke looking uh, Mustang wheels. I really like those. In the back, of course. Got the little window vent uh, printed right there, I believe is what those are. Not entirely sure. On the back, you got the uh, GT logo right there in the middle. Tail lights. Again, you have a Michigan GT 1967 license plate. Got the exhausts uh, right there. Again, has uh, some white racing stripes. And again, obviously, same stuff on the other side. Now, with this being one of these giant Lego sets, it does have some really cool features. So right here, open the hood, you got a little engine right there. I really think that's cool. doors open and the steering wheel actually turns the wheat the front wheels which is really cool uh, let's see this little top section kind of pops off give a look at the interior you got your interior you can kind of see in there you've got uh, the steering wheel that uh some like tachometer speedometer stuff I believe that would be the um, the shifter right there in the middle and a little radio. You do have some back seats right there. Slap this roof on here real quickly. Uh, the trunk also opens. Got a little, uh, I believe that would be a nitrous tank, which I really think is cool. And another really cool feature is actually on the back of this car but if you look this little uh gear right here that i'm spinning this car has a really cool feature that i really like if you turn it it lowers or i would say lower it raises the back of the car up so like it, it sits the back of the car sits higher up giving it like a more like aggressive feel i really like this though Anyway, let's go ahead and get some of these accessories attached to this car. So we'll start off with the front bumper. 
So basically, you just take it right here. I'm gonna try to keep this in view and just kind of just snaps on right here. Making sure I'm not messing anything. So there's that little front, uh, there's the little like front bumper splitter deal. And then for the hood, you just pop this, take this off, you pop this, um, the factory hood scoop off. And then you take your blower supercharger, put it on right there, and then you close the hood. And you now have an aggressive looking blower sticking out the hood. And I really like this. Coming around to the back, you've got your little ducktail lip spoiler. So you put that on, close the trunk. There's your little ducktail lip spoiler. And then for the side exhaust, you see these little pieces down here. You take these. And you slap them on. Oh, here's the underside of the car. If you want to see that, here's that little me mechanism back here that uh, lower raises the back end of the car. We're gonna go ahead and attach the other side pieces back here. So it's just gonna lean the car on its side right here. And there you go. This is all of the other accessories attached. Obviously, there's multiple ways you can have this set up. So this is how I like the car. I like it with the um, with the spoiler, the motor, the side exhaust, and the front bumper. Maybe if you want to lower the back down to the normal height you can do that uh, maybe if you just want if you don't want to have the um splitter it's pretty easy it just kind of pops off kind of like that well actually a couple pieces didn't come off uh, these right here didn't come off there we go get that snap back together You do that. You can de you could uh, take the wing off. But me personally, I kind of like it with the bumper, with the bumper on and all that stuff. But yeah, I really do like this. Like I'm, I really like that Lego is making these sets. To replicate to build real vehicles i have a couple of those um speed champions sets i know one of the cars that they came out with in the speed champions lineup was the um nascar camaro that chevy uses not the next gen the uh the 2018 camaro but i, re I really like this as to what scale this is, I would want to say this is maybe like a 118 scale. Because it is very much, it is very bigger than a 124. Let me uh, grab one of my die cast over here real quick. Here it is next to the Alex Bowman 2021 car. Okay, maybe this isn't a 118. I don't know what scale this is. Um, obviously, the highest scale die cast I own is these 124s. I don't have a 118. If I had like a 118 indie car die cast, I'd probably have a more accurate comparison. So I don't know if this is like a 118 or a scale bigger that I can't think of. Cause I don't think this would be a, this is a one ten scale. But I mean, I really do. I really like this.
it was really fun to build one of these bigger sets. I'm not really, I'm not a big Lego person, but if there's a set that they have that I like, I'll get it and build it. It's like, I want to try to get a bunch of those speed champion sets. They've been coming out with a lot of those. Of the speed champion sets, I think I have, again, I got the NASCAR Camaro. I've got, I believe it's either the, it's the Ferrari F40 or F50. It's one of those. Uh, the McLaren Senna. Uh, I think there was a um, there was a R35 GTR, a Audi Quattro rally car. I also have that. I think there was a. I think I even have a two car set. It was the um, it was a Formula E car. I believe it was the Jaguar Racing Team. It came with the Jaguar Formula E car along with like a. It was like a Jaguar. A Jaguar I Pace or something like that. It was like an SUV kind of thing. But I really like this. I really like. I, w I mean, if you pro if any of y'all didn't know, I do. I work at a Ford dealership. Now I I still like Chevy. I drive a Chevy, but I mean, I I like for I like the Mustang too. Don't don't get me started on the Mach E though. I I don't like the Mach E. But yeah, like I said, I I really love this thing though. Really really cool. As far as Lego creator sets that they have, uh, the only other one I can think of there was a Aston Martin DB5 that they have in the Lego creator uh, line. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like the James Bond, uh, Aston Martin. There it. I want to get a Lego Technic set because they have the um, Dodge Charger from Fast and Furious. So I want to maybe get that and maybe build a Lego Technic set. Just haven't, just haven't found one in stores yet, or haven't had the time to go and look. But I do eventually want to get a Lego Technic set and build one of those. I think they even have a McLaren Senna GTR or something like that Technic set. Actually, uh, they actually just revealed a uh, McLaren F1 Lego Technic set of the 2021 McLaren car. I actually kind of want to get that too. I saw some of the features that thing has actual suspension and all that and i would re i really actually want to have that because uh mclaren's my favorite f1 team and lando norris is my favorite driver so i really want to get i would I, i'm honestly might actually get that but i'm gonna obviously wait but i, re I really like this I, re I really do you know i like these old classic mustangs and I like trying. I liked building a bigger set, a bigger Lego set than what I've built, because all I've built is those little Speed Champions cars. I haven't really. This is probably one of the biggest Lego sets I've built. But I really like it. That's really gonna be it for uh, this review video thought it'd be pretty cool to review something i haven't reviewed before uh obviously later today i think in about maybe less than two hours if this is uploaded before then but we have the super bowl coming up with the Bengals and the rams uh i'm picking the Bengals to win i'm not much of a football person but i'm gonna go with the Bengals because i feel like they're more the underdogs and because obviously for one, the Rams have home field advantage. And in my opinion, I think the Bengals are the underdogs, and I like rooting for the underdogs. So my pick to win the Super Bowl is the Bengals. Next week and next Sunday, well, technically, this basically this whole week except for Monday, we have NASCAR activity, I believe. Uh, there's nothing going on Monday. Tuesday, we have practice. 
Uh, Wednesday night, we have front row qualifying for the 500. Thursday night is the dual races. Friday is the truck race. Saturday is the Xfinity, or no. Saturday, we have the ARCA race and then Xfinity. And then Sunday, we have the Daytona 500. If it doesn't get rained out for, what, the sec third year in a row, I know last year it wasn't postponed to Monday, at least not that I can remember, but it was definitely rain delayed. And I I don't want this one to get postponed to Monday. But anyways, that's going to be it for this um, Lego Creator review. Again, still trying to make some videos here and there. I will try, I'm definitely going to do one next week for the 500. If I have it here, I might actually be able to do a, a, a diecast that was that won a dual race. And I might review the the Daytona 500 winner of that who won that dual race as well. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. And uh, have fun watching the Super Bowl, everyone.